<laughs> so my name is Oliver Bagirka. I uh, want to talk about some persistence uh, things, uh, implementing persistence layers. Um, there is an article been published on IBM Developer Works that uh, actually describes how to implement DAO layers, so data access objects, <coughs> most of you will be familiar with. Um, the problem with data access layers is that you often write very boilerplate code. And this article actually describes the possibility how to do this. So one and a half year ago I uh, browsed on the internet and actually couldn't find a real implementation of that. So what you simply can grab and use. So we decided to code one and I'm going to show you this. So what you see here, the, the thing is called Hades. As you know, the Greek underworld thing because persistence often is some kind of underworld. <laughs> Not only some kind of. Um, so what you see here is a <coughs> simple Maven project in Eclipse. And the very core thing about it is actually the implementation of the article stuff. So um, what you can do here is you grab your entity manager wherever you get it from. Um, and you can set up a simple generic JPA DAO, DAO and give it the, the class that you want to handle. That's actually an entity, JPA entity. And um, yeah, that's it so far. So then you can use that stuff in a quite uh, sophisticated manner. We added some uh, further methods that um, the plain entity manager, if you would use it directly, is uh, missing. Uh, example given is the pageable thing, so that you can request a page of entities and you can have sorting information, so um, because most applications need that very much and you simply have to code it every time again if you use the play entity. Yeah, so let's try that. Kick things off. Hey, it's green. So this is the very core thing. Nothing really yeah, complicated, not rocket science, anything. So what you typically typically want to do um, at the next step is formulate queries, finder queries. And if you use Hardis, what you simply have to do is create an interface that extends the generic DAO interface, uh, type it, or the generic tool, and write something like this, find by username. So what this does, so okay, let's, uh, let's show you how this, uh, what I can do now is, da, 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 da. here's the message call, yeah? We start that, and hey, it's great. So how does it work? Um, what we do is we have a factory that creates, um, a proxy around the, around the um, uh, generic DAO implementation I showed you um, right before. And what we do is we intercept method calls that begin with a certain pattern that you can configure and build a query from the method name. Yeah? So that works for very simple cases, but you so, uh, very soon hit the wall um, because you might want to use something more sophisticated. Maybe you want to call the method E the blame. So that should fail, right? Okay, it says it couldn't find the query. So what you can do then is, da, 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 where's the user class? What you can do instead is uh, simply define the name query as the domain class and give it, yeah, that's it, and give it uh, um, a certain name and. The algorithm actually is, it tries to, to find a name query um, yeah, defined here, and if it doesn't, it tries to uh, look up the uh, constructor query from the, from the method name. So, the thing here should work again. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of, of other stuff around. We integrate Spring very nicely, do some um, audition, uh, auditioning so that you keep track of who has changed what and all that stuff. And uh, what we can also do is um, you can integrate your own custom DAO code very easily with that. So thank you very much.